Okay, we're going to feed the um, red-tailed catfish. She didn't get around to doing that on video yesterday. Um, I need to sort out all these tanks too. So these are currently got my bircher in them. Bircher, bircher, bircher. Bircher, bircher, bircher. Um, yeah, I need to move all these tanks, drill holes in them, hook them up to a sump. My sump currently has snails in it. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of snail eggs in there. Can't really see. Can't really see. But yeah, my, my sump at the moment is not where it should be. <sighs> Say that five times fast. Um, Mr. Groper is still on the ground. There he is. We shall feed him. There he is. Still currently in a four foot tank. I don't want to feed him too much because, whoop, we scared you. Are you gonna come back? You may come back. He came back. So yeah, I'm not gonna feed him too much because at the moment I haven't even got a filter hooked up to this. Uh, the two clownfish are okay. But I do need to move them soon. Uh, the big red tail cat, let me place that there. She is doing surprisingly well. I'm not too sure if it is a girl or not. We just call it she. She will come over here. We shall give her a piece of fish. So, she is kind of big. You missed it. It's over there. Did you get it? You got it. I can feed her a little bit more because she's on the system. So we'll stick that there. Use a little vacuum cleaner. So yeah, she's going okay. I just need to get her in a bigger tank as well. But she's currently in 1200 liters, hooked up to that and that and that over there. So she'll be fine for another couple of weeks. Um, and then we have plans on moving her again once she's settled. But yes, um, those are the tanks I need to move somehow. <laughs> Nothing really exciting in here. I think there's shrimp. Lots of shrimp. Baby Corys, baby Peldinios, lots of snails, lots of bristle nose. And all that wonderful stuff. Anyway, quick update. That's it.